Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Mia Games Tycoon 2, episode 68 of my legendary difficulty Let's Play. New MMO, Psychomania Online, almost done. That'll be coming out real soon. We're also able to make a new tech level 8 stationary console, so I'm going to jump right into that. Uh, first, this will say this little thing up in the top left corner, it's like the top 10 best selling games for the week, or top selling games, I guess, for the week. Uh, I accidentally turned this on when I was playing multiplayer today with someone. I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, it's fine, I guess, it'd be in there. If anybody knows how I get rid of it, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Also, if anybody ever wants to play multiplayer, may I games Tycoon 2, I'm usually willing if I have time. You know, you just got to give me some notice. Um, but if you want to play, join my Discord. Link's in the description down below. All right, so let's make ourselves a tech level 8 stationary console. Tech level eight all around. We are going to call this, we're going to stick with our Lord of the Rings um, theme motif with our console names. And we'll call this one the Luchera Balrog. Great from the depth. <laughs> this one's coming from. All right. So that is the best case we have. Let's go red. We definitely want red for a Balrog, right? Nice deep red. Predecessor mobile model. Mobile? Model. <laughs> we'll be the Troll Pro. That is the best controller I have. We'll go for those. Ooh, what game do we want to put in? Um, I mean, all these games are good, right? Like, it doesn't really matter. Uh, which one of these were an exclusive? Like, which one of these undersold? You know what I mean? Like, there were good games. Alien Horror Strategy 3. That's my most recent. Not really my most recent. Yeah, because budget game or add-on. Bundle, budget game, add-on, or MMO add-on. Um, what else was a exclusive? Psychomania Drift 6? Oh, that was... that was Yeah, let's do Psychomania Drift 6. I think that, that's a good option. Connected to the internet, of course. Backwards compatible, of course. Troll Pro. Chair 1 Pro. Uh, Orc Pro. And we'll throw the halfling in there, even though it basically shares a library with those. But, you know, details, turn on all the features, which is, there's a lot of features nowadays. So it's going to cost $283 million to make. That's not cheap. But it is what it is, right? So let's immediately start marketing that. Because uh, my current consoles are dying <laughs> quickly. <laughs> It's not even the summer slump and they're not even moving 10k units. I mean, they're they're old, right? They're obsolete. It makes sense. So that's why I wanted to get this out ASAP, right? Get this out as soon as possible. All right, so that is started. So we take this bad boy off pause. And then do game magazine. And then a radio spot. And then we'll do two TV spots, which will get us to 100. Oh, I accidentally, I did the wrong type of advertising there. <laughs> Didn't I? That was a waste of, well, it's like, what, $30,000? $50,000? That's fine. That's not the end of the world. All right, so everybody, let's just see. Okay, there's one bug. Let's get the one bug out. Okay, the one bug is, is out. Let's just make sure here everybody is polishing, right? So let's just give QA a minute to polish. Do not believe there's any hardware that is relevant um, this case, maybe? Yeah, let's actually, let's grab this case. This handheld case. Because we are going to, we're going to revise the Luchera Halfling up to tech level 7 as soon as the screen comes out. Actually, I think I also need the external storage. Possibly. So whenever that comes out. Alright, anything need a free update? Um, those are add-ons. That's had a couple. Do the Wizards Mobile is gonna lose money. We don't really want to update that. We have an engine ready to go. Let's let's update my MMO. It's I mean it's still extremely profitable, but it is starting to slowly bleed subscribers. See if we can halt that a little bit. Alright, let's finish development on this. Self-distribution, of course. Um, alright, so $30 is low. But I mean, this is an MMO. The real profit comes from subscribers. So I'm going to leave it at $30, right? Just the, because the more people buy it, the more subscribers we get. 
and I would rather have five dollars here. And um, um, okay, um, I can't I can't hide my excitement. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Um, I just had a Steam achievement pop up. This is a hundred percent review score. This is, it's a hundred percent. The Steam achievement spoiled it for me. Spoiled it for all of us. But oh my god, what a good game to get a hundred percent review score. We did it, folks. We did it. Hundred percent. Yes. Oh, I did not see that coming. That's amazing, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> this review is about the sequel to Cyclomania 7. We check for you if the newest part of the series is worth it. The gameplay is really well thought out and motivates from the beginning to the end. The really impressive graphics blew the entire editorial team away. Bombastic sound effects and great music accompany the gameplay. The game's simple and polished controls set new standards. You won't need another game for the next few months. Or ever, since it's an MMO. That's awesome. Hundred got my hundred percent. Oh, that's oh, I feel, that's all right. Um, <laughs> I just I didn't expect that. I never would have expected my MMO of all things to be my first hundred percent review score. So I believe the plan was to make a building game, right? <laughs> uh, so Alien Invasion Spacecraft Two, building RTS not have a license that is particularly good for building games let's see if there is one out there but yeah i wish i kind of wish i didn't notice the, the steam achievement pop up because i saw it and i kind of like paused and i was like oh do i pretend i don't know it's going to be 100 whenever the review comes up or do i just say anything um anyway it happened all right, so it's tech level eight. So obviously we're going to make this for Lucero Balrog. Um, thing is, there's like only only the Mac and PC. Is there any other tech level eight? I guess there's the Beam machine, which has 0.7 million users. Would it be absolutely crazy to make this exclusive? It's going to lose so much money. How many consoles? You know what? I'm going to try it. YOLO. I want to see how many consoles it moves. Right? Because, anyway, it's it's, it's going to lose a lot of money. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So whatever this costs, 70 million or whatever, it's going to lose probably 65 million. I would say. But again, I'm okay with that. I have literally $1.8 billion in the bank right now. Right, I'm, I'm playing with house money. I got my 100% review score. It's going to take a lot <laughs> to bring me down, to spoil this mood, right? Um, but yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, no, moving on. Moving on, I got to stop dwelling on this 100% because I honestly, I thought I was never going to get it. I thought I was never going to get it. I literally thought that I would get this one for reaching 2050 before I would get the 100% review score. Honestly, I honestly thought that would be what would happen. But that's not what happened. So, hooray for me. And what do we get for that? Um, plus 1% add-on sold. Hey, we take that. I mean, it's not amazing, but we do. Does it include MMO add-ons, I wonder? I mean, if that includes MMO add-ons, that's actually pretty good. Right? I'm not sure if it does, though. But it might. Hopefully it does. It should. I mean, you would think it would, right? Holiday season's coming. Okay, so that moved 20,000 units just in, like, just digital units in week one. Okay, that sold really well. We only got 16,000 subscribers, though. But that's a nice base of people to own it, right? All right, so what am I going to make next? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, how long ago did I make that MMO add-on? Not that long, right? I'm pretty sure. 38 weeks? Wait. Oh, no, 38 weeks ago. I'm going to make another MMO add-on. 
I am going to continue to support Dragon Fantasy Online, even though we have Cycle Mania Online, right? I'm going to try to support both, which <laughs> might be too much. But honestly, probably this is going to be the last add-on for Dragon Fantasy Online. I'm probably going to pull it off the market. Um, we'll call this Shards of Velius, which is, no, oh, let's go Velium. Because Velius Be 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 is the actual zone from EverQuest. I should at least change the name a bit, right? All right, so we add a few things. Boom. Let's market that up. All right. And yeah, let's just not do any support room stuff yet. Wow, I didn't win anything <laughs> game of the year so i feel like i'm putting out putting up too many add-ons too many budget games maybe is what's hurting me from like i'm not winning these anymore consistently like i used to right like i used to i don't anymore <laughs> at least i won game of the year i guess Yes, that's good. I mean, obviously, winning game of the year is good, but I mean, like, is that good enough? Am I happy with that? Probably not. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it'd be nice to at least win developer of the year or publisher of the year, one or the other. All right, so one of the other Dragon Fantasy Online add ons came off the market. Hey, it made $126 million. That's pretty good for just an MMO add on. All right, so let's get you to stop bug fixing that. Start bug fixing that. Um, I saw somebody maxed out here. You need graphics and music and sound. And you'll be ready. Move into this room. Okay, they're both at 90 hype. Bojack's experience 10 extra point, which is an add on. Off the market, made 159 million. I do have the top two best-selling games or top-selling games of the week right now. So it is kind of cool seeing this. Ooh, Psychomania sales are down. I'm going to have to get a, just a normal update out for it soon. All right, what have we got for budget games? Psychomania Drift 6. Ooh, no, let's do Puzzler. Oh, wow. Mm, I'm slacking. Uh, let's do Horror Wizards. Hey, 60 hype. That's good. But I wonder if the budget games and or add-ons is what's, is that affecting my ability to win Publisher of the Year? I wonder. It might have an effect. It might not, though. It might not have any impact, right? It might, I might be kind of not imagining it, but attributing something to it that's not actually a thing. I don't know. No new orders. That's fine. Oh, we got new AI. Is this also tech level eight? Should be. Yeah. All right. So we got two tech level eight things. I do not have a plan for what game I'm making after this. And that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I think God, these are going to be done close to the same time. All right. Well, they both need pre-release for the press. They both need overhype. Right. Release with press, overhype. The results of those holiday season is over. Overhype worked. Yo, hopefully that overhype works. Ooh, only seventy to ninety. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have overhyped it. Oh no, this is sorry. There's one hundred forty-five bucks to work out for that. That's fine. That I'm not worried about. That'll, that'll end up being a fine game once the bugs are out. All right, there is... Let's just leave them both. Let's just polish them till the end of the week. All right. So finish development. Self-distribution. Okay, so that's out. 24%. Okay, and then this one. Um... This is for the console that's not eight. So we got to put it in the bin. The console is almost done though. The console is 80% done. So no worries there. 
So let's do a free update, Cycle Mania Online with this group. And with this group, we're gonna decide what do we wanna do, Alien Invasion, which is a skill game, right? So we're gonna do update the old skill engine. Wow, that is really out of date. <laughs> with all the best stuff. So yeah, let's include tech level seven for this stuff as well, just in case, just in case, right? There we go, we'll turn a Balrog. So once we're done with this, um, yeah, this, this MMO is gonna be fine. It's gonna sell a lot of, it's gonna make money. Like I, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever. All right, so they're done of that, uh, update so let's do a paid add-on for alien horde strategy 3. um and we'll call this moon landing because they landed on the moon don't ask me why don't ask me how those are details that i am not privy to i just work here all right, got a new Annie sheet. Oh, we cannot add things because yeah, it's a small game. All right, so that means this add-on is going to be cheap to make, though, too, right? So that's good. And we can just polish it with everybody. And polish. Make it shine. Got to make it shine, folks. And bug fix. Got to make it bug-free. Got nothing to research right now. Nobody in training is full. Got to do some marketing for that. Yeah, the fact, like, if you scroll through, it's like, oh, you got all kinds of games out, Luch. Really, I don't. I have two normal, non-MMO, non-mobile games out right now. That's it. Like, this list, there's two games <laughs> that aren't add-ons. They're not budget games. They're not MMOs. That's all. So I got to get more games out, but... I mean, I have a pretty big team here, but I did I did just make an MMO, which takes forever. So it makes sense. So I'm not sure why I'm even bringing it up. <laughs> Honestly, now that I think about it, it's, it's pretty obvious why, right? Because I just made an MMO. And MMOs take a long time. And the game I just made isn't actually out yet because the Balrog isn't done. Um, well, we're gonna continue development on that. There's a bunch of bugs and whatnot. All right, let's do a free update for the MMO add-on. Um, how is my original MMO doing? Ooh, it's gaining subscribers again. That's that's all that matters. I mean, it's almost made a billion dollars. If you factor in the add-ons, it's made way over a billion dollars already. Like, way over. Not even close. Not even close. So far over, it's not even funny. All right, so this is ready. Let's publish it. I'm going to hold it at $10 profit for now. I may raise that later once we get cost optimizations and stuff through for now. And I'm going to go I'm going to go with a 3-year warranty. I've always just done the 5-year warranty. I'm going to try a 3-year warranty. Long warranty period can increase sales. No. Yeah. Yeah, let's try 4 years. Try four years. 10 out of 10. That's what we want. All right, so um, let's get this out. Self distribution. Now that the console's out, obviously. This is not a $30 game. This is a $40 game. Right? Yeah. Probably you could even do 50, but let's do 40. All right, there we go. 98%, 98% as predicted. All right, so it's got a game. Okay, this one we are waiting for that. And then we're gonna wait for overhype. Then we will release that. 
they're doing an update for the update and some update section all right so i'm gonna pull the troll pro off the off the market because it's not making money it's literally losing money right because and i mean <laughs> we're selling a thousand per week that's not very good it's not many all right so how is this new game selling hey twelve thousand. that's honestly better than i expected that is more than i expected i mean it's bad don't get me wrong it's not good um did overhype not work must not have um beta demo instead uh, i should probably just release it though yeah, that's fine uh, ooh, yeah, do we really want to do any updates for that? Psychomania Online, on the other hand, we want to do an update for that. And we will want to get a, an add-on out for that fairly early on. Oh, there is the touch screen for the, uh, for the handheld. Tech Level 7 screen, which is... I went right by it, right there. But I... I'm honestly... I think I also need the whatchamacallit. Yeah, I need the data carrier. Oh, I, okay. Let's just look. Okay, it's so tech level seven. Tech level seven. 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 And yeah, here. We don't have this either. I'm not sure when it comes out, but we're researching the screen now. Hopefully, the data carrier, the external, or yeah, data carrier comes soon. Because I would really like to uh, <laughs> upgrade this handheld to tech level seven, right? I think that would be good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm not waiting any longer on this. Finish development, self-distribution, nice and cheap, should be fine. Good, 94%. Um, another budget game, let's get puzzle or going. Okay, and then we can market that. Market old puzzle or here. Or puzzler. I mean, I feel like we should always have at least one puzzler game on the market at all times, <laughs> right? All right, so develop a game. Sequel. Alien Invasion 11. Skill game slash platformer. Live pool. As opposed to Deadpool, I guess. And where are you at? Right here. So we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go tech level 8 here. So Balrog and Mac. And is there really any point to throwing the beam machine on there? Sure. Just throw it in there just for just for fun. Not sure how fun it really is, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Once I get this upgraded to tech level seven, I'll start making tech level seven games for both consoles primarily, with the odd tech level eight mixed in. But until we get to that point, I'm just going to make a couple tech level eight games to try to spur sales of the Battle Rock, right? Although, you know, in retrospect, no, let's do tech seven here. Is that we can take away the beam machine, we can switch to the game station instead of the Magnetos and do the Y box. We reach a ton more people. I mean, we still have the Battle Rock in there. Yeah, I think this is the play. There's no point in leaning hard into tech level eight yet. We only have two tech level eight engine features, right? Until we have like the full four or even at least three. Although to be fair, it's probably gonna be three very soon. But yeah, once I get the halfling upgraded or revised, whatever terminology you wanna use, um, I expect I'll probably alternate between tech level eight and tech level seven games. Roughly, you know, I mean, there's always exceptions. But I mean, that's basically how I've been the whole run, right? With the consoles and up and down between tech levels. I don't expect that to change. All right. Um, what could go for a demo? Psychomania Online could go for a demo. Got to remember, we got to keep that hyped up. Ooh, that was some scary autosave lag or something. There's something going on there. Or Wizards Dead Platinum could go for a demo. Is 
Zombie Horde Survival 5 Bite Me could go for a demo. Yeah, Dragon Fantasy Online's gaining subscribers nicely. How's Cyclomania Online doing? Still gaining subscribers. It's a, it's a slow build, right? We're at 300,000. But we're, we're selling 100,000 of the main game per week. And we got another add-on coming for it, which will help. Right? All right, so there's the demo results. So let's market Alien Invasion 11 here. The 90 hype. Yeah, I, I wish I knew exactly when this was going to hit, this revision, right? Um, oh, you know what I should do? I should market that, though. I should market it. Because uh, it shares hype, right? So just do it now. Like when you revise it, it shares hype. The original and the revised version have the same hype. Um, ooh, beta update, MMO add-on, Cycle Mania, or do I want to do that with my main team? Um, I want to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. So let's do a free update for Alien Invasion 2 spacecraft. This is... Yeah, 13,000. This 7.8 million, it's never going to get that money back. But I'm just trying to move consoles, right? The more consoles you can move early. Oh, there's bugs and shards of helium. All right, we can fix that. That's fine. I thought I even polished it for a bit, and apparently not. That's an easy fix. That, I mean, it's an MMO add on. Of course, it's full of bugs. Right? I wouldn't have it any other way. So we need this, but we need the handheld version. Right? Or this, I guess, the handheld version of this, or one of them, whatever. But we need it to be tech level seven. None of these are what we need. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting for that. And that's okay. That's okay. Customer support, we still got lots of support. They're still keeping pace. My trainees are still grinding away. Alien Invasion lost some points there. All right, so what are we going to make next? Another Lead Dead? I feel like the success Lead Dead games have had compared to its IP value, like they all seem to do pretty well, but it doesn't seem to gain a lot of IP value no matter what I do. I don't know. Anyway, let's update this to have the best tech level seven stuff. We are just gonna do tech level seven though. I don't think it makes sense to, to, to do eight yet. All right, we got somebody maxed out here. Okay, so they need, now, okay, see now it might make sense, right? Now, once we get this physics, so now we have three tech level eight engine features, right? It starts to make more sense the more you have. But for now, Lead Dead is going to be tech level seven, I believe. All right, how's Cycle Mania doing now? How's that interest? It's dropping pretty quick. I'm going to do an MMO add on. Now it's just with this this bunch, the secondary team, so it's it might not be amazing, but it still should be good. They're they're talented enough. I think. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, that they should be able to get a pretty decent game out. Um, so Psychomania Online. Streets of Loochtown. Oh, yeah. Driving around the streets of Loochtown, baby. All right, new copy protection will be coming out very soon. I don't think there's anything we can add because, I mean, this is pretty new. There is not. It's going to need a lot of hype. Hey, it's a 25 hype to start instead of 24. That's an upgrade. I don't think I've ever seen an add-on start at 25. It always starts at 24. So you can stop bug fixing that. Bug fix the MMO add-on instead. And away we go. And we get it to 60 hype. And then 90 hype. And then we'll be able to uh, overhype from there. I do have a little bit of space left. What do I want to fill that space with? 
I'm not sure. Ooh, both, yeah, both my MMOs needed hype. Whoops. Oh, well. That's fine. How is the Balrog selling, by the way? 8,000 a week. It's not very good. It is the summer slump, right? Like, it's not... I'm not surprised by that number. I am a bit disappointed. But we got to get some more games out for it, right? Alien Invasion 11 will be for it. Um, next game will be for it. I wish I, wish I would have waited to make my MMO until this was ready. But it is what it is. All right, so is there any other tech level 8? Where, where are everybody else's tech level 8 consoles? I mean, mine's out, right? <laughs> Where's everybody else's? They're slacking. They're clearly slacking. All right, so that's far enough along that I can start doing pre-release stuff. Overhype. That one worked. Did overhype work? We will find out soon. Streets of Luke's Town should be pretty good. Overhype did work. That will really help drive sales of the. Uh... Oh, okay. So there's the new copy protection. Let's buy that. We'll apply that. Do the same thing over here. And a new case for station. I don't care. No, uh, I, I do not care about case for stationary. I care about uh, this, except the handheld version. And I really want it. All right, you are done of that. You just need graphics and you'll be ready. You'll be ready to graduate and go actually make games and not just train for your whole life. All right, everybody's polishing and or bug fixing, so that game will be ready soon. It'd be nice to be another game for the Balrog. Ooh, 90 to 100. Let's just polish it till the end of the week here. And we can start pre-release stuff for Streets of Looch Town. Overhype. Hopefully overhype works. All right, yeah, we can get this out now. Finished development, 90 to 100. Doesn't mean it's going to be any better, but it's, it's still nice to see. <laughs> 98%. It's a good game. We take those. We take 98%. We do not turn those away, for sure. All right, Lead Dead. What are we up to? Like six? Seven? A dead seven? license for that must have expired oh look at all of them it's only good for one game but five stars all right fps multi-platform pc game station 4 Ybox 720 and the balrog the balrog and it's 300,000 users <laughs> but that's okay and everything which is so many things that the game literally lagged a little bit i mean in this 2020 it's late game right performance is not going to be the best all right so we're actually going to polish streets of luch town with these teams just give it a little polish and then once that's done because it's i mean it's three quarters done we will uh then we'll switch to working on lead dead seven that ladies and gentlemen and anything in between is going to be next episode hope you enjoyed this one if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already most importantly be good to each other have a great day and i'll see you in the next one